My fellow diaspora congressmen and congresswomen, the 10th issue of the Diaspora Times comes at a time the BBI was finally revealed to Kenyans. The feature story is the Diaspora National Assembly, the DNA, an organization that was initiated to enable those in the diaspora to air their views and to present them to the BBI committee. The global president, Dr. Isaac Kinungi, is a person with the diaspora at heart and did not want their concerns in the BBI to appear as footnotes, but to be a part of the process. Read all of it in the Diaspora Times newspaper. You will see men and women determined to engage and be a part of the political process in Kenya. They are all honorable men and women that debate on issues affecting all in the diaspora and in their motherland, Kenya. They have the main DNA assembly and also develop DNA assemblies all over the world. This is the movement to watch. In this issue, Matthew Mosioki has written about his experiences in obtaining documents in Washington, D.C. You will read on how to minimize the cost of getting your documents. Very valuable piece, a must read. As usual, we have letters to the editor by congressmen and congresswomen, Elizabeth Mombi on U.S. elections, James Borrow on the same, Isaac on Pan-Africanism, Jogona Kafuki, Migwe Karugo, Damasilla Wagner, Rev Wambui Joroge, Pastor Ruben Mwangi, Otuma Kailiba, Samuel Bugwa, aka Big Bugwa. And lastly, Edith Kairioki on Hustlers. We, of course, as usual, have laughter, the best medicine, the best jokes ever that will lighten your day. We have a moving sad story by Teresa Joroge on Cry for Justice. Read the story of this lady whose world one day turned upside down after she was convicted for a crime she never committed. She, however, came out victoriously all the same, and today she is motivating others not to give up in life. Joe Nyaga, a former cabinet minister, is a regular contributor to the Diaspora Times. In this issue, he has a brief on transition of government. Sharp Kenyan, all eyes on him. Rev Wambui continues with her topic on Christian and politics, part three. George Wangui, a jubilee politician in Kenya, on what really is contained on the ballot. Robert Shuri continues with his elusive journey of seeking diaspora unity. Rose Oginga on I Hope Initiatives, a real dynamic movement led by a determined people in diaspora. Nelson Wangi, a brilliant writer on redefining success. And lastly, but not least, OptiVan, advertising their Kitengela project, where one can build a dream home away from the hustle and bustle of Nairobi City. OptiVan, according to Dr. Isaac Kinuki, is the diaspora trusted partner in real estate as they deliver their promises. That and many, many more stories at the one and only diaspora newspaper, the Diaspora Times. Remember to tell others, we are the Diaspora Voice. Remember also that all news is coordinated by the dynamic global DNA president, Arch Dr. Isaac Kinuki. I will pause for a while, but we'll be back after some time with more surprises in the future. Watch this great Global Diaspora Congress Forum and be a part of it. Just text 404-966-8550. This is Virginia Wangeshi Maturi, Congresswoman at the Global Diaspora Congress for the Diaspora Times. And until next time, cheers. <laughs>